of tradition and love paired with a timeless score. Fiddler on the Roof is a story that talks about the tragedies the Jewish community has faced throughout history and unfortunately still to this day. In fact, it's so iconic, its music is used in commercials and popular movies. Katie has made her way over to Heinz Hall where a host of Broadway stars and local talent have lined up to bring this powerful show back to life right here in the Steel City. Katie, you're in the midst of some serious talent, so tell us who you're about to meet up with. This has been a magical morning already, and we are just working on rehearsals and some blocking and some lyrics. We are on stage here at Heinz Hall. I'm joined by our wonderful friends with the CLO, Mark Fleischer. Mark, please, can you just tell us a little bit about how this production all came together first? Well, actually, uh, it started even pre-COVID shutdown when the symphony was starting, at, looking at its 125th anniversary. We were looking at our 75th anniversary. We were trying to come to something together, and then we know what happened. Uh, once it was done, Shelly and I and the symphony and others at CLO continued to meet and say, what can we do together? What can we bring as a show? And so, uh, we looked at uh, what musicals we have not done in a while, and uh, we came up with the idea of bringing Fiddler to life as a concert version uh, with a connection of not just the CLO and the PSO, but CMU, uh, local actors, the Tambersons, all sorts of community organizations coming together for one common goal. Right. Now, you are bringing this to life, but in concert, I feel like, is a very important note. What does it mean for an in-concert performance? Sure. So, first of all, we got to say that the music becomes an incredible part of this. There's a 65-piece orchestra, an 80-person young person's choir, as well as the actors. And, and what we're doing is the John Williams score, for which he won his first uh, Academy Award for the movie of Fiddler. So, there's going to be this giant musical dynamic sound backing up the actors. Now, they will be moving around the stage. Stage. They will be saying their lines. Sometimes they're completely off books. Sometimes they have a script in their hand. But again, it's to put an emphasis on, of course, telling the story, but on this incredible music and, and lyrics. And we're in this incredible space with world-class organizations. Shelly Forte, Shelly, please tell us more about all of the collaborators. We're working with world-class musicians and, and famous performing actors and singers and also some young up-and-coming artists. Yeah, so we have uh, some students from CMU. We even have young children from the CLO Academy. It's just a great partnership. The Tamboritsons just came on board as well. And then our annual tradition of the Hamlish Page Student Choir, which is comprised of students from all over the region. And now this, it might seem like this could be a show running for months, like a Broadway show, but there are three nights that people can come and see this. Tell us a little bit about how people can see the show. Yes, yeah, so it's two nights and one afternoon, which I know those matinees are very popular. Um, people can, you know, come to our box office or go to pittsburghsymphony.org to get tickets. And, yeah, come and join us. It's, it's really spectacular because... Like Mark mentioned, the John Williams score. Usually you have a pit orchestra that's much smaller than this, but John Williams took the pit score and beefed it out for the film. So it's something you rarely hear except for on screen. Something you rarely hear and something that you certainly have never seen here in Pittsburgh. And this performance is only happening right now here in Pittsburgh, correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. We have something very special in store and we'll be right back.